So I called back to that branch and I spoke to the branch manager, Danny Mills, and um, I explained to him what happened. And he said, I'll call you right back. And um, he was a little bit shocked about what my accusation was and everything. So I gave him my number to call back. He called back within about 15 minutes. And, you know, he apologized a couple of times for the misunderstanding. So he puts it or some type. And he was like, that's totally not Debbie's character and things of that nature. And I was like, okay. And he was then went in depth and he said there's a new system that State Employees Credit Union is putting into place so that when a customer comes in or calls into the help center by their phone number, they'll pull up all their information. And I still don't think that's a good practice, that if someone is just has your phone number, they can pull up all your bank account information because that's the way they explained it to me, the purpose of them asking me my numbers. Elsewise, it don't make sense. So that is going to be a breach of privacy policy altogether because how many people knows your phone number? And plus, these numbers are recycled. I still got people that call my phone looking for other people. For doctor's appointments and bill collectors, all kind of stuff. So, I don't think that's a good practice that they're putting into place about using the phone number to access customers' information. Nevertheless, that state employees' credit union's way of doing things. And now, I really feel like changing my phone number if you want to know the truth. This is really giving me a headache, honestly. But I wanted to make this video because I totally feel at a loss. Because guess what? I emailed the corporate department after I spoke to Danny Mills, the branch manager at the Matthews Township State Employees Credit Union. Because I still was not satisfied. I was not at ease to hear what his response was. Guess what else he told me? Danny Mills told me that Debbie Fairs is an account manager there, account executive of some type, and she'd been there for 20 something years. I was like, okay, so she's been there 20 something years and she's not just a teller, she was just in position as a teller at the time. So, by him responding like she's an account manager. And she's been here with 20-something years with State Employees Credit Union. That was his response to her. As in, that's an answer for her behavior. Her laughing at my question about why would she need my current phone number and my current work number. Like, that should suffice. That should heal me up from my humiliation. And he explained that the other teller would be reprimanded because he didn't follow protocol and to update his customers information. Oh boy. <laughs> I said, wow. So apparently because she has longevity in the company, she don't have any reason to treat anybody unfair. That's the way he made me feel. Like she didn't have any reason why she would treat anybody unfair. Make them feel this big. Because she has longevity in the company. And I'm just a customer trying to make a deposit. Customers come a dime a dozen, I suppose, to them. That's the way he made it seem. Nevertheless, I heard his side. He said he does, he does all internal any type of reprimation or you know just any type of disciplinary he said he'd do it in-house I was like okay and he did say he would send me a formal apology I guess the letter I don't know I still was not at peace but I said goodbye thank you 
Nevertheless, I sent an email to corporate info at sccu.org. I sent an email there, which routed to a person named Mike Shelton. Mike, S-H-E-L-T-O-N, Mike Shelton. <laughs> and Mike Shelton gave me a call, which went to voicemail because I was at a prayer retreat and I still am. And he left a voicemail. I called him back and we played phone tag probably twice because I was in between prayer meetings and things of that nature. Nevertheless, when I finally had a chance to talk to him, he asked me what happened. Gave him the same story I gave to Danny Mills. And he said he received the email and he was quite baffled by it because he said pretty much the same Danny Mills said, acknowledging their co-worker, Debbie Ferris, as, I guess, an outstanding worker of some type because he surely did not make me feel comforted that there was any way that she could have possibly stepped out of her character of what they have always known her as and humiliated a customer for them asking a question about why she might have been asking personal questions of that customer. So he gave me all what he could give me as far as saying his apologies and same thing, that's not her demeanor. And also, like I said, reiterating how long she's been at the company, 20 something years and that she's an account manager, blah, 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 all this meaty stuff about her, nothing about me. Nothing about how valuable I am as a customer, even though I've only banked with them five or six years. I've only been in the <laughs> banking with them for only five or six years. So you see where I'm coming from? Doesn't seem too weighty against their coworker and account manager. So I'm not at peace about it. I really am not at peace about it. And Mike did ask me, though, he said, what do you expect to happen at this point or what do you expect to come from all this? I told him my response was, I'll have to speak to someone else about it. A account representative, a counselor, someone that has also dealt with unfair treatment. Because it's never happened to me before. I never had this problem. This is my first time coming into this particular banking center. So it took me by shock. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. But I'm not at peace about it. And I just, like I said, I made this video because I need for people to know. Recognize when you're not being treated fairly. It is your hard-earned dollars. Or, in my case, my husband's hard-earned dollars he gave to me to deposit in my account so I, so I can have a great weekend. And to get ready to get my weekend started, the closest bank at that time to my husband's job was the one off of Matthews Township. I went in to quickly get my money deposit and move about my weekend. This was Thursday, Thursday the 29th, about 1230 that afternoon when I went in there. And to feel humiliated. I felt, I felt little because I didn't know. It's not my fault. I just had a question. All I'm saying is, you have to speak out about when you think that people are treating you different than they normally would treat anybody or because you're not knowledgeable. You don't have to accept anything. You need to let somebody know. Don't just be easy about it. 
Because I know that people will walk over you. It has happened in so many different cases and things all over the place. So people don't say anything. They sit silently. But think about it. Is your money real easy to come by? If it is, then so be it. Let people just talk to you any kind of way on the other counter, other side of the counter that's depositing your money, moving your money from here to there in your different accounts. Listen. If this message is read and listened to by any state employees, credit union, employees, account manager, executives, no, know this, it does not matter how long you have been with the company. Any, anyone can come out of character because the simple fact is sometimes people read one another different and maybe Debbie Fairs read me different that day. Maybe she was having an off day. Maybe she felt like picking on someone at the time. Maybe she was upset because she was a account manager operating in a bank teller position. And maybe she was not feeling good about that position she was using that day. And maybe she took it out on me, a vulnerable customer. Think about that. Maybe that's the reason why she laughed at me <laughs> out loud because she was not happy about the position she was working in at the time so I expect they'll be contacting me once they see the video or whatever. But my feelings are still the same. I expect acknowledgement that I am a customer and that I was embarrassed and humiliated. And one more thing. Mike Shelton, who said that he was over both of the bank center in Monroe, North Carolina that I normally bank at, and the one at Matthews Township, where I was embarrassed that he said that they don't have audio in their video cameras inside of the bank. They only have visual. And guess what? The cameras are only pointed at the customer. So think this an employee such as Debbie Fairs that's been working at State Employees Credit Union for 20 something years knows that so guess what she probably doesn't have to mind her behavior because she know no one would ever take her 20 years of being employed at State, State Employee Credit Union word against a customer that's been banking with them for five, six years. Just think about that.